In the world of a Saudi prince, luxury knows no bounds. Their opulent lives are filled with stunning palaces, private jets, and an abundance of extravagant clothes and jewelry. Coming from privileged backgrounds, these individuals wield immense power and wealth. Their lifestyles, brimming with extravagance, are the envy of countless people worldwide. From exclusive cars to private islands, no expense is too great in crafting the epitome of luxury. Today we delve into the lavish life of Saudi Prince Mohammed bin Salman, giving you a glimpse of how he spends his billionaire fortune. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Also subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more such updates. Let's get into the video. MBS The Young Heir to Saudi Arabia's Throne Mohammed bin Salman, also known as MBS, will become king when his father, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, dies. He will be 34 years old at that time. But because of his difficult past, people aren't sure if he would be a good leader for one of the world's richest and most powerful countries. Prince Mohammed bin Salman is a member of the royal family, so his parents made sure to give him very good schooling. He got his bachelor's degree in law from King Saud University, which is one of the best schools in Saudi Arabia. After he graduated from college, he worked for several important state offices before becoming his father's special assistant in 2009. Even though he has a great education and a lot of work experience, there are still questions about his ability to lead. Prince Salman's Wealth and Aramco's Success Prince Salman's family has a lot of money because they own a lot of things, including Aramco, a huge oil company that is owned by the government as a whole. In December 2019, Aramco went public and was valued at a staggering $2 trillion. This was more than the market value of tech giants Microsoft, Apple, and Alphabet, which is the parent company of Google. Even the well-known Berkshire Hathaway fell behind Aramco. When Prince Salman takes the throne, he will receive a big chunk of Aramco's shares. This will make him the wealthiest person in the country. During the first nine months of 2019, Aramco made a staggering $68 billion in sales, making it the most successful company in the world at that time. This huge amount of money will allow Prince Salman to keep living a luxurious and extravagant life, which will increase his power and the royal family's wealth. MBS Multi-Million Cars and Yachts Prince Salman is one of the wealthiest Saudi Arabian royals. He likes to buy multiple copies of the same thing, even if he doesn't use them all. His huge collection is full of expensive things like a boat worth $500 million, a picture by Leonardo da Vinci worth $450 million, and a French chateau worth $300 million. Reports say that the total wealth of the Saudi royal family is a staggering $1.4 trillion, and that Prince Salman owns a big chunk of this money. The Serene, a luxury yacht that is 440 feet long, and worth $500 million, is still one of his most prized items. This luxurious ship has a lot to offer, like multiple swimming pools and hot tubs, two helipads, a hanker for a helicopter, a gym, and a large movie theater that can fit up to 30 people. Lavish Properties of Prince Mohammed in Riyadh In the city of Riyadh, which is encircled by a network of gorgeous castles and rural getaways with marble columns, Prince Mohammed and his father, King Salman, are frequently seen. One of the magnificent palaces that belong to the prince is called the Al Yamama Palace. Only notable world figures and visitors from other countries are allowed to be hosted there. The Ergo Castle is yet another opulent residence that sticks out due to the usage of pricey marble and genuine gold throughout the building. When President Obama arrived to visit the Ergo Palace, the reporters who were there noticed gold-plated Kleenex boxes and seats in the stately sitting rooms and meeting rooms of the palace. There are also allegations that the prince and his family own costly residences in other European countries, including Switzerland, London, France, and Morocco. The fact that Prince Mohammed is a member of the royal family contributes to the perpetuation of these myths. MBS's Life of Lavish Spending Prince Mohammed bin Salman is a part of the royal family. He is known for living a lavish life and having a lot of money. He enjoys it very much to use his money to buy rare and expensive things from all over the world. He spent a shocking $300 million on a beautiful chateau in France, 
which was one of the most famous things he bought. This grand house, called Che to Louis XIV, was made to look like it belonged to a king. It was once called the most expensive house in the world by Fortune magazine. The estate has many amazing features, like fountains, a state-of-the-art sound system, dazzling lights, and cutting-edge air conditioning that can all be operated from a single iPad. Surprisingly, this fancy house dates back to the 17th century, when it was built. The prince liked high-tech gadgets that were easy to use, so he decided to mix the charm of the past with the ease of the present. But even for a rich prince, having such luxuries can come with its own set of problems. Prince Mohammed bin Salman's love of spending a lot of money has given him a bad name in the royal family. He has spent millions of dollars on things like private planes, helicopters, and mega yachts that are very expensive. Aside from transportation, the prince likes to buy expensive things just for himself. His collection has rare pieces of art, expensive clothes with gold thread, and jewelry with valuable stones. He also enjoys eating at high-end restaurants around the world. The prince is known for having a refined taste, so he often asks his cooks to get ingredients from all over the world every day. MBS Lavish Party in the Maldives Mohammed bin Salman is a young leader who comes from a rich family. He has been in trouble before, especially because he loves to party. When MBS wants to have a party, though, he goes all out and brings the party to himself. In 2015, MBS held a big party on the beautiful islands of Mail in the Maldives. This expensive event, which cost a mind-boggling $50 million, was out of control. More than 100 skilled artists and dancers from all over the world, including exotic dancers, put on a show for the prince and his guests. Even though he was only 29 at the time, MBS went to a party that most people only dream about. Vila, a private island in the Maldives known for its stunning beauty and very high prices, was chosen as the place for this special party. The few sodas who were able to go enjoyed the fake snow on the beaches and the luxury houses with private decks, pools, and butlers. It was a night of spending a lot of money and having a lot of fun. Even though there was a lot of fun, there was also some trouble at the party. MBS is known for sticking closely to Islamic values. When he hosted an event with drinks, dancers in skimpy clothes, and other things that went against Islamic values, he got a lot of criticism. People wondered why the crown prince's extravagant lifestyle, which was so different from the strict values he stood for, was so obvious at the party. That was all for today. We hope you enjoyed learning about the luxurious lifestyle of Saudi Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights and updates. Thanks for watching till the end.